Hello everybody and welcome back to part 5 of the Doughboys Revival. Now a few things to catch up with since then. We had 4 games since our last goal bonanza against Peterborough. And it's a 2 all draw, draw at Ainsbury, which was really, really awesome. I'm, I know it's a draw, but we were 2-0 down and we managed to bring it back with the Vickers Park combo. Absolutely fantastic to see. Win to the FA Fire, second preliminary round against... Um, Old Land Abtonians, got it right first time. It went 3 all. If you can actually see these goals, look. 1-0, one 1-0, all, 2-1, one all, 2-0, two 3-2, all, two, three, two, three all. Every single attack we made, they responded. And it was frustrating. Fortunately, we managed to get away with 5-4 in the penalty shootout at the end. And we took that goal-scoring lust to Thurnby Nirvana, and we won 3-0. We smashed them 3-0. We absolutely destroyed them however we had her on beat home whole beach at home and ah uh, we had the possession i just want to go into the stats we had the possession we had the shots but every single chance we had we just couldn't convert it into a goal and it was so heartbreaking when that goal went in absolutely destroyed us but now, now, is the big boys. I see it right there. Rushton and Diamonds, AFC. This is going to be a very strange match for us. Because you can see here, and AFC Rushton and Diamonds have got a game in hand. We can't afford for them to come away with a single point from the Dog and Duck Stadium. Dog and Duck Stadium? What are you talking about, Kai? Well, that is because... You actually go into Russian and Diamonds. They actually play at the Dog and Duck Ground as well. They share a ground with us, with the Doughboys. So even though technically we will not be, we are playing away, we are still playing at home, and I don't know how that affects the game. So that's going to be very interesting to find out. So it's going to be absolutely awful. Now, other things to talk about. You can see here, we finally lost Ray Hackett. He was our main central defender. Most of us, most of our um, defence in the minutes, um, yeah, central defender that play on the right, or right defenders, and he was our main rock in that back. Now, unfortunately, I've lost him. However, as a response, I snapped up Liam Wall from Kogenhoe on a free. Oh, excuse me. Now let's check out this boy's stats. Check this out. 15 jumping reach, 13 natural fitness, 12 strength, 12 leadership, 11 bravery, 11 aggression, 19 year old. This boy is going to be amazing. If I can keep hold of him. He wanted, when I actually went to him, he wanted £60 per week. And I, that's not what I'm going to do. I knew for well what my budget was with all the people that have gone out. All the um, the bonuses and current wages that they were on. The only thing I could manage to afford was twenty pounds a week, and I managed to get him down. I was so shaking about it because in this game, when you don't get a contract, it's not as if it's you know off a new contract and try again. It's you have to wait. And after I lost Hackett, I needed that central player. So introducing Liam Wall for the Doughboys. That's enough about that. Let's get straight into this clash at Wellingborough. Rushton Diamonds, Wellingborough, active rivals. And this is going to define the start of our season for both sides. Now, if you go into the team selection, you can see I've already chosen my side. As you can see, Wall is making his debut for the Doughboys in the centre. The, 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 something I wish to, wish to bring up right now is Botta is back. Botta has recovered from injury. However, he has still not got that match fitness. However, when he comes back, when he is fit, he will be in that starting eleven straight away because he is one of the most reliable defenders that I have got. You can also see here Adam Vickers. Adam Vickers, even though technically down to his stats, he is my best striker 
out and out striker that I have, he has just not been scoring. And we cannot have that in a game against our local rivals in a match that is really, really important. So I've gone with Alfie Taylor. He's reliable. I know he's going to bag some goals for us. You can also see that I've got Downs, even though he's lacking match fitness, I've got Downs as an inside forward on the right. Now, this is just to give us some more attacking options. Uh, the past few games, I've been playing um, Bowles out on the right. However, I feel that more than controlling the right wing, I would prefer to have someone who will just step inside and take that shot on goal. Now, I'm just going to submit. And as you can go on to the next page, you can probably see that we are not the favourites. No, we are not. Uh, Russian Diamonds 5-4, Wellingborough 7-4. We had this with Peterborough. And we managed to walk out with three points. So as you can see from both of the head-to-head uh, -head stats here, we both can go to the top of the league. However, I've worked this out already. We are going to need to win 5-0. Now, this is simply because of our goal difference. Even though we have scored more goals, sorry, my mistake, we need to win 4 0. Even though it will actually level us on goal difference, we have scored more goals. We've conceded more goals, but we have scored more goals. So we are going to need to win 4 0 to go to the top of the United Counties League Premier. And of course, what a better way to do it against diamonds right oh they're playing a very they're playing a practically identical formation oh you can see we're try probably sharing the same training sessions this is going to be interesting well, at least I know where where things lie we've been closing down these wingers all the time and we are going to constantly mark that central forward Team talk. Nobody fancies us to win, but a bit of encouragement. Ah, that's a load of assertive. I expect a win. I expect a win out there. Hey, they didn't take it too well. Don't care. I expect a win. Okay, boys, let's do this. Diamonds kicking off. Pressure in, pressure in. Nice, we're going on a lot of drive right now. Come on, boys. Well, I've done the setup, it's 2D, and so you can actually just see the key, key back moments of the game. And hopefully, these um, live pointers will be a lot faster as well. Okay, that's fantastic. It means we're going in far too hard at the minute. Yes, yes, we, we need to do that. Come on, boys. Get it in. Yes, penalty. We've got a penalty. Oh, Taylor, you need to put this away, my friend. You need to start this time. Is that Taylor? Is Taylor wearing rhythm break? Um, yes, my son. Yes, we can go to the third boys. How can Taylor, as I said to you, Reliable centre forward. I knew for all we could produce. Frankly, it wasn't in the way I presumed it was going to be, but a goal nonetheless. For some reason, I don't know why that was set to 2D. We'll have to watch the, the penalty at the end of the game. Come on, boys. Come on, man. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh I thought it was going to be too many. You can see what I've done there. I've put him down on that outside wing. He is going to be able to apply the pressure on that goal front the whole match. He's making a lot of mistakes. I don't really mind about that. Because Ryan Cook always seems to perform for us. Oh, Sturgis is hurt. Oh, 
because uh, Surge is playing in the midfield right now. They might actually bring back to the central defender. But then again, that would that apply more pressure? Oh, it was a good first half. Let's have some more of that. It was absolutely fantastic, guys. So let's have a look. See, none of them are really performing that fantastically. Okay, Liam Wall is playing the worst, technically speaking, as a rating. But however, we've not had any goal action by Russian and Diamond. So that's a bonus in my eyes. See, I don't want to really bring Sturgis off the job. I might just bring him into the central defender. Defence, sir. Uh, and then I'll bring uh, Bowles out into the midfield and I'll swap him around. That way he'll be more reliable on his right-hand side. Okay, it's not his natural position. But later on in the game, if needs to be, I can switch Downs and Bowles and have more control of that right-hand wing. Okay, so let's go straight into this, guys. Okay, we need some more. We need some more. Very boring second half. 15 minutes, nothing happened. Ooh, got an injury. See, leaking down the bottom. Dons are piling on so much pressure right now. Chasing, chasing, chasing. Watch that wing. Watch that wing. No. Oh, hands Logan, a few of hands. Yeah, okay. Once again, they're on the attack. Don't get ready for No! I should have just seen Smith. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, Logan. And you've got this. There. Jesus. Right, 75th coming up. I know you usually make this substitution at 60 minutes, but I just didn't feel it was necessary in the part. Sturgis is not doing anything for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Gill up. It's not once again not his natural position, but he's gonna be much stronger. So now I'm gonna be able to bring Butter, who's obviously he's come back from his injuries, I'm gonna bring on for Sturgis. And as I said, he's reliable. I know we'll be able to hold that central area. Oh, I'm just looking across the field. I need one more. One more change. I really want to bring on Newman. Vickers. Oh, why do I feel like today is going to be his day? Today could be his day. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put, bring Vickers on for Taylor. And we'll move Bowers out to that wing. Down as, I'm going to actually change you from a central midfielder. I'm going to move you into an advanced attacking playmaker. That way, hopefully, you can actually get yourself up there. We'll get some balls moving. Once it starts hitting the 80th minute, 8 second, a third, I'm then going to move into overdrive and just completely overload, rather. And I'm going to try and completely overwhelm that Rob Diamond's defence. Come on, guys. Don't lose it there. Oh, what I say about watching that wing? Oh. Go on, just go, 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 We'll pause it. I'm going to have to go overload. I'm going to have to overload it. I need to apply this pressure. I need to. I didn't really want to walk out of there with a draw, but we were 1 0 up. Corner. Into the central, there. I'm going to bring Carter into the centre. 
Cook and Old Bowles are already playing inside forwards. So actually, yes. Yes, I am doing this. Cook is absolutely fine on that left hand wing. If I now make Downs put him setting as a poacher. Straight attack. See if we can get anything off. Because Bowles can insert that ball straight into there. Vickers, 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 Vickers. I'm actually going to change him to a defensive forward with the support. I'm going to try. We've got five minutes. Five minutes to force our way. Why am I logging on? No. Confirm those changes. Come on, guys. Five minutes. Five minutes. Absolutely smash them. Come on, boys. Come on. One more goal. One more goal, please. Please push them. Ah, looks like we've lost it. Too old. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, that could have been it. I don't know how I feel. We, we, yes, technically speaking, we should have lost. But Nat, do you know what? We played our hearts out. We've walked away with a point. The thing is, in the top four, we're the only ones in the top four that played that extra game, which means that more than likely Peterborough are going to jump over us. In the long run, I feel that match is going to hurt us. I feel that match will hurt us. Let's just see what the news reports say. See, I don't know how these games are really going to affect us. We've got an 8th, we've got a 7th. It doesn't really affect our situation right now, but 2nd and 3rd drawn 2 nil, 2 all. My mistake. Wellborough rescue late draw. One of the best league's best defences continue their fine form as AFC shared the spoils of on a fine summer's afternoon on the ground. Sturdy gave away a penalty. Taylor Compton stepped on and scored from the spot. Darville was forced off by injury in the 30th minute. Equalised came through in centre back. Young centre back John Gill equalised Wellborough after 85th minute with a long range effort. Better late than never for Wellborough and their fans were clearly delighted with Gill's impact. It was an amazing strike. Let's have a look at that strike again. It's not the um, it's not the first time that um, one of the uh, defenders has come up and just, just driven a shot home for us. Watch it. it. Comes out straight to Gill. Bowles passes it back. Oh, no. Look at that. Top right hand corner. Edge of the box. Saves the goal balls. I suppose, in the scheme of things, yes. We rescued a point out of it. What a point. What? A point. See so yeah, let's uh, bring them out of this. Let's actually have a look, see what they're thinking. So, okay. Yeah, we all, we all made, uh, well made his debut. Gil impressed. Was he the man of the match? He was player of the match. Absolutely fantastic. Round up the back. Okay, we're going to do an advice, background advisement. I'll do that on my own terms. I think let's actually have a look at our fixtures to see who we've got coming up. 
Let's see what our next game is. Boston. One, two, three, four, five games. Five games, and then we've got Boston at home. That is going to be a very, very hard game. So that's what we're going to be looking forward to in the next episode, in part six, will be the Doughboys at home to against Boston. That's going to be a match to look forward to. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the small little thing I'm doing with Football Manager right now on the Doughboys Revival. So I'll see you later. Goodbye.